everyone! Welcome to Origami with Josie. Origami during coronavirus quarantine. And today we're going to fold a seashell. To start, I've chosen a square piece of yellow paper. You can use any color you like. Fold the paper over to the white side and rotate to a diamond. And we're going to fold a crease from here to here. Next, we're going to fold this edge down to here. We're going to be making a crease in the center. And we're only going to crease it up about 75% of the way. Like that. Open the model up and repeat on the right side. Now we're going to make a pre-crease from here to here. And we'll do this by bringing this, this point down to here. Remember to crease only this part and leave this part uncreased. And open the model up again. Now we're going to take our thumbs and hold the bottom part of the paper down. We're going to take our index fingers and fold that pre-creased paper down over itself and work our index fingers in toward the center, toward each other. <clears throat> and then we're going to take this triangle and fold it over to the left and crease. Now flip the model over and we're going to fold this point over here as a pre-crease down here. And open the model up again. Now that we can see that crease, we're going to fold this edge down along the crease. And we're only going to crease it halfway on the top half from here to here. And it's okay if there's a little shadowing. Now we're going to take the bottom edge and send it up along the same crease. And again, full, uh, crease halfway up like that. We're going to repeat that on the right side. Top edge down. And crease halfway. And then the bottom edge and send it up. And crease halfway. Now we're going to make a crease from here to here. We're going to take this edge and bring it down to here. And we're going to stop the creasing. We're going to start up here and move all the way up just to this point.
just up to that crease right there and open. Repeat on the right side. And open. Great. And so now we're going to collapse the left triangle in onto itself. And we're going to start that by bringing our left hand underneath and take your index finger and thumb and bring the two sides together and work it toward the center on those pre-creased lines on these. And it should naturally fold down, straight down. We're going to repeat that on the right side. Put your hand underneath. Take your thumb and index finger and bring those two sides together up until these creases. Then instead of down, we're going to send this one up to the sky. Excellent. The next thing we're going to do is Take this edge and fold it up this way so that this edge is laying along this, this center line and so that this point is now pointing that way, that way. Right to that point, you can zoom in, there's that point right there and crease. We're going to repeat this on the top triangle pointing the opposite direction, this way. I'm going to rotate the model so that you can see the, the two points. And we're going to continue that pattern where we'll take this Point and send it across. Take the opposite point, send it that way, and repeat. going to rotate the model to make it easier to to work with this point across the next point across this point down this point up just alternating rotating a little so I can work with it. This point up, this point down. Continue. Continue. until you get to the point where you're no longer able to fold those points up or down anymore because they're very short. And then you'll just twist them together like this. And pr as you twist, also press the model in into itself. So now you can see that shape. The last thing we're going to do is flip the model over to the side that has the open edges here. This side is closed. So there's four edges all together. You're going to reach in and with your thumb and grab the first two. And then you're just going to free that 
little edge there, pull it out, and then take your index finger and just open up that bottom part. We're not pulling any paper out, but we're just simply opening it up. And then I like to make a little crease here to hold that in shape. You can see that spiral there. And there you have it. I really hope you enjoyed folding the seashell. Stay tuned tomorrow for another exciting model. See you then!